Hi guys, so this is I think my last lesson on vectors and what we're going to do is find the angle between two planes. So firstly, what are we even talking about? Well, imagine, well these are, these look like two straight lines, but imagine they're planes from the side. That's what I've tried to do here with Georgia, and I'll show you that in a second. A, a simple analogy is open a book and two pages and the angle between the two pages, that's the angle we're looking at. Um, or if you have a, lap a laptop in front of you, just open the screen a bit and the angle between the screen and the kind of base where the keyboard is, that's the angle. Let me show you on GeoGebra. So here I have two planes. So they meet at a straight line. So there's a straight line there where, they're meet, where they meet and I'm gonna try and find the angle. That's, that's the kind of, what I'm looking at, they, they disappear once you kind of go in there, but you see what I mean. So it's this angle here that we're looking for, or the obtuse angle, depending on which they they are asking for in the question. So just be aware there are two. And obviously this is equal to this, and this is equal to this because of opposite opposite angles. Okay, um, so how do we do it? Well, imagine these are my two planes from the side view, a bit like this. Well, remember what I said in the previous videos that when it comes to directions of planes and angles and planes, the most important thing we're dealing with is the normals. So the normal, so this, the normal of, let's say this guy's normal, his normal is this. It's coming out at 90 degrees. This is, let's call this N1. And then this guy's normal. Let's choose a different color. This guy's normal is this. Let's call him N. Actually, that's not a right angle. So he's coming out like this. Not a lot to do. This is N2. Now, let's say this is the, well, let's say the angle between the two normals is theta. And this is obviously a right angle because it's a normal. And this is obviously a right angle because it's a normal. So theta plus this thing, let's call this thing, let's call it alpha. So this angle, alpha plus theta, alpha plus theta, has to equal 180 degrees because this is a quadrilateral. This is 90 and this is 90. And the four angles together have to add up to 180. So 180 plus 90 plus 90 is, sorry, I said that wrong. The four angles have to add up to 360. So this plus this has to equal 180. So if alpha plus theta equals 180, um, and alpha plus this angle has to equal 180 because it's a straight line, this angle here has to be theta. And guess what? This angle here is the angle between the two planes. So the angle between the two normals is the same as the angle between the two planes. So it's actually quite a nice, easy way to do it. Definitely, I want you to understand why that is the case, and it's to do with this diagram here. And again, be careful if they're looking for, um, the, if, they're, if they are looking for the obtuse angle or the acute angle. And as well, if you find the angle between two normals and it's a it's an obtuse angle then you found this angle and this angle for the same reason is going to be the same as this angle so either way um you'll know what to do because if they say the acute angle you just give the acute angle if they say the obtuse angle you just give the obtuse angle okay let's do an example so consider the planes this and this find the acute angle between the two planes so i want the two normals so the normal, let's let's call it M N1. N1 equals, this is the normal of pi 1. It's 1, negative 2, negative 3. Again, I definitely hope at this stage you, you understand how to do that. It's just 1, negative 2, negative 3. That's the normal, N1. N2 then, the the normal of the of this plane is 2, negative 1, negative 1. 2, negative 1, negative 1. Now this guy equals 2 and this guy equals k. And you could ask, good question, be, well, how am I going to deal with the k? But the thing is, and this is actually a past paper question, and I'm sure this did cause a lot of panic when students saw that k. The truth is, 
You don't need it. I'm not using the to and I'm not using the k. All I'm using is the normal, which is here and here. So now I have n1 and n2. You might as well draw a little diagram to show the examiner that you know what you're doing and to help you rem remind yourself what you're doing. So this is um, pi 1, pi 2. This is um, this is n1 and this is let me just put not go too far. This is n2 and then this is 90 and then this is 90. The angle between the two normals is theta. So you could even write it angle between this just shows the examiner you know what you're doing. Angle between normals is the same as angle between planes. Now do you need to write this out like this? No, but I think a diagram like that looks good for sure. So now I'm just going to find the angle between these two vectors, which I know how to do, and I learned this in one of my first vectors. Well, you learned it in one of my first vectors lessons. So cos of theta is equal to um, n1 dot n2 over the magnitude of n1 times the magnitude of n2, which is equal to this dot this is 1 times 2 is 2, minus 2 times minus 1 is plus 2, and minus 3 times minus 1 is plus 3, so 2 plus 2 plus 3, which is obviously 7, all over the square root of uh, 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared times the square root of 2 squared plus 1 squared plus 1 squared. And this, this is cos of theta, therefore theta, therefore theta equals, and I just need to do the inverse cos of this. So I'm going to go trig inverse cos, I'll put in my bracket, um, and I'll do 7, 2 plus 2 plus 3 is 7 of course, all over the square root of, um, you can write this out or I'm going to do it in my head, this is 9, 10, 14, and then multiply by the square root of 4, 5, 6, inverse cos of this, I'm in degrees, press enter, 40.203 degrees, goes 40.203 degrees, approximately equal to 40.2 degrees, um, to three significant figures, and that's it. That's how you, that is how you find um, the angle between two vectors. The angle between two vectors is the same as the angle, sorry, that is how you find the angle between two planes. The angle between two planes is the same as the angle between the two normals to those planes. Hope that makes sense. Hope you enjoyed um, all these, ve these vectors lessons. And depending on what you're going on to next, I will see you in the next video.